Now for me, this is the most important part of any golf swing, and I'm gonna show you how you can practice it and bring it into your game. So hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Alex, a Peter Gold professional and top 50 coach. Now Stuart's asked for this question. Why potentially could you hit your irons and driver either off to the right for a right-hander or off to the left for a left-hander? Now, in my opinion, the most important part of the golf swing is this takeaway, right? How we start the swing. You get it right, you don't have to compensate. You get it wrong, you've got a lot of compensation to do throughout the whole motion. Now, why do you want to practice this? Well, for me, practicing this is going to give you way more control of your club face and it's going to give you a lot more consistency. We are dancing with that one, by the way. And for me, the reason why you're going to have a lot more consistency is that 80, 70 to 85% of where your ball goes is determined by where your club face points. So getting the takeaway right is key. Okay, what are we wanting to do? What is the motion we're looking to improve? Well, what I want you to do is simply, just to start with, is getting golf posture. You literally don't need a club right now. Put those palms together. Now, keeping those palms together, the motion that I would look for is this, okay? At this point, my hips are staying quite static. All I'm looking at doing is moving this triangle between my hands and my shoulders. Watch that, okay? There's no rolling, that would be opening the face. There's no movement this way, that would be closing the face. I'm simply just keeping width, keeping connected, and really feeling like my sternum and my arms and my wrists all working as a unit, nothing is working independently. Okay, have a look at the swing right now on the screen. You can see the same drill from the down the line perspective. One of them looking a little bit open, the other looking nice. Exactly what we wanna see. That right hand side is exactly what we wanna see. So, what does that look like with a club in our hand? Let's have a look from the down the line perspective. Now, I know you can bring this into your game and the drill is slightly different for your irons and your driver. So do make sure you stick around to the end. And obviously, if you are enjoying the content, hit the thumbs up button and let me know down in the comments if there's anything that you're struggling with in your golf game because I'm powered by you, the viewers. So with a golf club in our hand, that's gonna look very much more like this, okay? And I would just have a few waggles with the club just picturing that same movement you had with the palms together. Now, have a look at this from the player cam perspective. I think this is a brilliant angle because you can literally just see what I want you to see when you practice this. I'm gonna put three reps on the screen here and what I'd really encourage you to do before hitting shots is carry out three reps. Right, okay, let's hit another one away. When you get this feeling, you're, it's infectious. You're really gonna to wanna to hit loads away too. Oh, we're all over the flag with that one. We are all over the flag. Two for two dancing is nice. Okay, this is the drill and how I want you to practice it with your irons. Now, this drill works with absolutely every single one of your irons. I've got my nine iron in my hand, but we're gonna show you with a wedge and, and a longer iron too. For every golf ball you're gonna hit away, you're just gonna need two golf balls. And what I want you to do is place that golf ball down just behind, okay? So I've literally got two golf balls and a club head distance between them. What I'm looking for you to do is push that ball back as far as you can. Now, far as I can sort of on this arc is what I'm looking for. I don't want you to drag that ball in and throw it this way. What I really am looking for is this version right now. And the beauty of this drill for me is that I can just push it back, hit away. So a little bit like this. Ah, oh, that was gotta be the best shot of the day. Best shot of the day. <laughs> that was brilliant. Look how far I pushed the ball back. And you know what? Let's move on to the wedges. Nice and easy. We're down 70 yards now. As I said, this drill works just as good. Aim your club face to target. Place your ball down. Now this is the part of the drill that I would use for your hybrids, your fairway woods, and your driver. Because the back of your club is a little bit curved, you can't push the ball back very easily. But what I want you to do is, 
Now, here I'm gonna stress this, you can't hit balls doing this bit of the drill. This is the bit where you would just grab some great feeling to take into some shots. I've just attached my towel around here with a carabiner clip. Dead easy, really simple. Now, one thing I want you to do is just put the towel and the club on the ground as I have there. The idea of this drill is sweep the towel along the ground for as long as you can. Simple as that. That's encouraging that first bit we said about palms together, working this way, not rolling it open. Look, towel sweeps for as long and as wide as we can. I'm not stood here lifting. I'm not stood here inside. All I'm simply looking to do is get a feeling of sweep the ground for as long as you can. Two or three reps of that is all we need to take into your game. And you know what? That's gonna hit every one of those points we said at the start. So I said at the start, what we're looking to do is create a move exactly like that. Exactly like that. It's not open, then having to compensate. It's not closed, having to compensate. It allows you to be more consistent, stop as many right, stop as many left shots, and hit way more fairways, way more greens, and hit it close with your wedges. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video.